Hey Jarvis, turn on the suit. Hey Jarvis, turn off the suit. I'm kidding. It's a it's a wireless remote. Yeah. quick one this is a cool little piece of tech I just got in the mail and I know it looks like a little car clicker for like you know your door locks in your car but it is a wireless receiver relay system that you can put in pretty much anything now I'm not leaving this in the suit I did it for comedic effects haha <laughs> I fooled you but I want to show you kind of how it works and how you can make anything you want be wireless with it uh, and there's no coding or programming it's literally just this thing and well that let's take a look so DC electricity in a nutshell flows in a circle, one end to the other, completing a loop. This interrupts that loop or completes it. It's a pretty simple system. I wanna show you kind of how it works and maybe give you guys some examples. It's very, very, very simple. Um, I was really surprised with how effective and tiny this thing was and it's relatively cheap, about 10 to 15 bucks. And they come in a different couple of shapes and sizes, so pick your flavor. I'll leave the link down below for the one I use, but it's only in the UK, so you'll have to search you know, US Amazon um, however you see fit. but. It's pretty awesome. Now, these four wires, this little control box with this cute little antenna, and this remote is literally the entire system, and it's still hooked up. So if I turn it on, you'll see a little LED light flicker on, and then it flashes off. Might be a little hard to see with this light, but you get the idea. That's the entire system. This has batteries, and then you're providing power to this little module. Now, this is a rat's nest of wires, so I apologize for that. I literally only did it for the video, but this is it. You need to supply this thing with electricity. Now I've gone over relays before on the channel. Everywhere from standard, you know, automotive 12 volt relays, which we've kind of uh, moved past since then. We have flip-flop relays, we have standard micro relays, du dual relay boards, and all of these can be utilized without any programming, which I love about them. It's very simple to do. If you guys wanna learn more about these, you can go check my second how to motorize an Ironman helmet video. I give a very good description on relays in there, and I've, they're peppered uh, throughout a couple other tutorials. So make sure you go check those out. I might do a dedicated video on just all the applications of these, but it's basically an electronic switch. In a nutshell, a relay is like a railroad crossing and it switches tracks. Basically, the electricity wants to come in through this way, but can't, it's not connected to the output. What a relay does is lets you electronically control this little switch in here so it moves forward and then allows electricity to flow through. Basically, you pulse this with um, positive and a negative. So if you ground this out to a battery and make a loop, the relay will close, allowing electricity to go through. Now, typically on a standard relay, you have to do that with a button, a trigger, a switch. You have to make this, this input in order to get the relay to switch and close. In this case, this remote is doing exactly that. This is that little switch sitting right here that when you press it on, it closes. And when you hit B, I don't know why it's A and B, don't, you know, don't ask. When you hit B or off, it opens the circuit back up and electricity can no longer flow through. Now this little board system needs electricity from something, whatever you're powering, and it can be off of the same power supply. This can take 3.7 to 12 volts of electricity, of DC current. Right here I have a little 3.7 LiPo battery. Now be careful with LiPo batteries, research and read up on them. There's a lot to them that I just cannot cover in here. But basically it's a rechargeable 3.7 battery that is hooked up, giving positive and negative to the board, exactly like that. Now every time I hit this button, it's gonna close that little circuit in there and allow electricity to flow through. Now these blue wires represent this blue and this yellow. I can't really put yellow on here. You'll never be able to see it, but that's letting the, the electricity go through. Now in order to get my suit to turn on and off or this little infinity stone prop to turn on and off, you can see right here, here is the battery pack, a positive and negative. It goes to the LiPo battery and comes back. Here is a barrel jack. And this is just a standard, um, uh, I think 3.5 or 2.5 millimeter barrel jack. It's for electricity. They're really handy. You get them off Amazon. All I've done is taken the system and made a loop. Now you have these two wires coming out here, these ones, and we'll say that this is one barrel jack, this is one barrel jack, and then there's a wire going here, and then the other wire goes there, and the other wire goes up here. So this is the barrel jack system. This is one, this is two, one wire is connected, but this relay board is, isn't letting the other ones connect unless I turn it on. So once I power the board on, these two blue wires connect, the circuit is complete, and electricity can flow through. And that's exactly what these, this wire system is right here. It's just a loop. 
So now when I go and interrupt this battery, go into the Infinity Stone prop, the little ether over here, the system is now interrupted and now it's getting power. And now we can turn it on. See, power's on. This is the entire circuit. Now I don't need to use this 3.7 battery to power this. If I take this positive and negative and hook it up to the battery over here, it will still work. You just need to get this power. Now, if I put, if I take this positive and negative and I hook it up after the relay, after this system, it's not gonna work. It won't be getting electricity. It needs to be hooked up before the relay, before this blue and this yellow wire interrupt and cut the circuit in half. There we go, I've gone and modified it. I've gotten rid of the LiPo battery. Now the board itself is getting its positive and negative from this battery pack. And then it's also letting the circuit close. Now you'll notice that this blue wire is hooked up to the negative. It doesn't matter what part of the circuit this is interrupting. If this is my positive wire and this is my negative, that's fine. This can be my negative and this, uh, this can be my positive. It really doesn't matter. It kind of goes with the standard of electronics though. You always interrupt the negative. It's just kind of common practice. Again, do your own research into it, but that's typically uh, how it works. You leave the positive connected and you cut the negative and that's what you put through the relay system. So that's exactly what's happening here. Positive, negative, and then my blue and yellow are interrupting the negative wire that would otherwise be hooked up. The prop turns on. Now, obviously this is a lot of wire. There's a lot of space in a prop like this. I could bury and you know uh, drill holes and shorten everything and get everything to fit. So what else can we do with this little relay system and control? I don't know, maybe turn on an Iron Man helmet. The electronic system inside this Iron Man helmet is super simple. It uses my little um, wireless magnetic contact system and you see the positive and negative up here the wire runs all the way down all the way to this battery pack that's sitting here now all we need to do is add this little relay system and interrupt that little battery pack now luckily for future frank past frank never solders anything so getting this electronic system apart super simple now again we're going to need to power the board off of the positive and negative from this battery pack this is a standard uh double a triple a battery pack putting out about three volts exactly what we need to power this so all we're gonna do is hook up the positive and negative, and we'll do a little systems test. Turn on the battery pack and see if it powers on. Oh no, what are we gonna do? This battery pack isn't strong enough to power the relay. I guess we found its limitation. If only I had another battery. And boom, just like that, it works. Sometimes you're gonna run into that problem where your power requirements aren't gonna be enough. You're gonna to need to do a little bit of upgrading. I guess these two little uh, triple A's just weren't strong enough, weren't putting in at enough amperage, and they weren't working, but it's fine we'll be all right make sure though if you're swapping out power supplies like this it's still rated for the electronics these ledis can you do about three to four volts this is a three volt this is a 3.7 we'll be okay now this ledi system is just a closed circuit if i touch the positive and negatives together you'll see the eyes power on they look great but we need to interrupt that so we're going to leave the positive and negative the positives hooked up to each other but we need to interrupt this negative circuit we can't have those touching that's where these two wires come in. So we're just gonna pick one, we'll do the yellow since it's right there. And remember, we're um, interrupting the negative, so the negative's gonna come through the blue, go through, come out the yellow, and go back to the battery. Just like that, and now we're gonna interrupt, and we're gonna complete the circuit with the blue. There it is. Now theoretically, the eyes turn on. Let's button it up. So now from just about anywhere in the room, I have a prop I can turn on remote control. I think that's pretty cool. Now the system doesn't need to be limited to just one item. If you, can, if you have a bunch of systems or even a whole display case full of different electronic parts, but they're all powered off of one, uh, the same battery, you can have this control multiple different things. It doesn't need to just turn on one item. I could have it turn on the helmet, the suit, maybe even some display lights, as long as I'm interrupting the power that goes to them. So the sky's really the limit of what you wanna do with this. You can put it in a suit, a helmet, a prop. You can take apart the button and integrate it into another system. You don't need to keep this little keychain car thing if you don't really want to. Uh, I'd be interested to cut this open and it's probably just a very, very tiny board. This is just bigger so you don't lose it.
That pretty much does it for this video, guys. Uh, pretty simple, pretty short. I just got that in the mail today. I tried it out. It worked perfectly, and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So now you guys can maybe go get one and try something out. Maybe there's something you've been meaning to make wireless in your display room or really anything you want uh, for a while, and hopefully this is the solution for it. If you guys haven't already, if you could consider subscribing and uh, maybe you do it, that'd be really, really cool. Um, I bought this system, not for a helmet, not for the suit, but for something you guys haven't seen yet. And I think you're gonna be really excited for when that debuts and you see why I needed this little wireless system. So hopefully it all works out and hopefully you're subscribed and you guys don't miss it. Don't forget to follow me on uh, Instagram and make sure you guys go check out the Discord. This way you don't miss any updates for live streams. I'm live streaming tomorrow, Sunday, 8 p.m. BST London time but there aren't many live streams left on that time frame as I am in the middle of moving back to America. So the time, uh, live stream timetable will change a little bit. So please uh, you know, stay tuned for that and be patient. That just about does it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and you have a good day. God, I love that. That's so cool.